Yes. So yesterday I was able to catch some shad, get them to my bait tank. Since they're still alive, they're still doing really well. I went ahead and just went to the same spot and was able to get some more shad and also some other live baits. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use some live shad tonight. I, I didn't wanna take, um, I didn't wanna take any of these guys away uh, since they've done so well in the tank. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these guys in the tank though for now and uh, see how they're doing. This is what I'm gonna be fishing with tonight, guys. So I do have some live shad in here, and just give you a kind of a kind of a reference. Anywhere from about eight to twelve inches. That's what I have in here. I've got a couple of live baits, a little green sunfish. All right, I'm at the spot, and here's the gear. Oh wait, I forgot to add the uh, five-gallon bucket of water. So. Got to get all this down. Ain't that pretty. Got to get all this down here. It's not as bad as it looks. Actually, actually it might be as bad as it looks because it probably doesn't look that bad. But um, yeah, let's get fishing. I got to get down there. Fun, fun, fun. Dude, the dirt on the dirt on the trail makes it almost worse. But it's not bad. You kind of see. You just gotta be careful. Yeah. Just try and be careful. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> as long as you try and you won't hurt yourself. Right. All right. Oh, looks like this little little creek part is, is filled up. Now this is where there's the sharp rocks. You don't want to fall down this. That's for sure. Okay, okay. Let's take your time. Guys, I'm, I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to me. Because I want to get this fish in the water. But I can't do that with a broken leg. Whoa, okay, all right. Okay, so sometimes I fish the island here and uh, you guys have seen, I've made a video about this log jam here. I think I'm gonna go in front of the log jam because it's gonna be pretty muddy that direction over there so get across here i tried to hit the gym but man all right this looks a little muddy that kind of mud right there is so slick just get it across this and we're here all right guys just made it here we're gonna fish in front of this log jam and also um, right off here to the right. I'm gonna get some poles set up. Um, here's the log jam. I fished this before and you can tell with all the, the rain we've had, it's brought in some more. I've got a little pole holder here. All right, this is the first one going out. Here's a real lively guy, here we go. It's gonna be fun bringing them in right here cause it's really, it's pretty muddy. I do have some, good thing about this spot is this mud is just kind of like surface mud from the rain. So there is some, a lot of like rock underneath this area here. So I might slip, but I won't sink. So that's always good. And that's if I get some bites. So hopefully that happens. Wasn't as far out as I wanted it to be, but it's all right. There's a there's a pretty big hole right in front of this log jam over here, so not too worried about it. 
I just I just didn't feel like re-rigging up another pole. This one already had the reel on it, so and had the good luck from uh, the other day at Power Sox. So I haven't caught a flathead this year, so hopefully this guy will go ahead and help me out. If not, I'm already getting a looks like a bite on that one. You can definitely tell the current right in front of that hole. It took it right right here. So if not, I might move these. At least I got one in that hole, some on the outside. So see how it goes. Looks like it has gone a little darker out here. Getting something here on the old snagging rod. Let's see. Ooh, that was a good bite. Make sure it wasn't a piece of timber or anything like that. Nope. Might have lost him there. I might have pulled it out of his mouth. That wasn't smart. Might give that one a little time to think. Otherwise, check my bait on that one. But. Yeah, I got sticks and everything, debris flowing in through this little corner as it spins. And so I've got a little bit of something on each line. So just gotta watch out for that. Hmm. This guy is, the way I hooked these was not very good at all. Should have come in at more of an angle. But, okay. So, I'm gonna have to check, I'm gonna have to check this white rod here. It's getting consistent pull downs and it's straight into the wood pile. So I'm not sure if something took it in there, got me wrapped up or if it's a turtle so I'm just gonna try and feel it out what it might be no well, I'm just gonna reel it in wow I'd say I'm in a turtle infested area or something. Man, he really went to town on this guy. But I'm gonna turn him into some cut bait and kind of get him maybe in a different area. But dang. Look how fat that stomach is.
look at how fat that stomach is. It's been a rough, it's been a rough fishing trip, but um, that's worth it to get a nice blue. And about to lay eggs too. I mean, probably in the process. <laughs> so, uh, guys, that's about it. I think I'm gonna almost head out of here. Um, it's been a rough night. Been a lot of turtles in this area. It's been infested with turtles, and so. Um, I tried to get over to a different area. There's an island over here and uh, Wasn't able to make it fell in the river a couple times and came back here Fished it and got this short little blue but fat So I'm gonna go ahead and let him go Definitely tore up a little bit So I was expecting to get a flathead tonight on a live shad, but I caught a blue, a little blue, but it's better than nothing. I didn't get skunked, um, but it just, it just goes to show you, you could have what you think is the best bait. Um, I, I love live shad. Um, if anything, it's it works as cut bait later, but it just depends on the, the day, where the fish are at, if they're biting. And um, like I said, it was a it was a little rough fishing trip, but the thing is, uh, with the turtles and everything in the area, I still gave it a shot and got a blue. So I'm not sure when the next time I'm gonna come back to this spot is. It just the last few times, it's just been turtle after turtle bite, uh, tearing up my bait consistently. And so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of here, get all my stuff together, and lug it up the hill. So. Later guys.